When was your last dental checkup? Was it a while? Well, whatever your reason, join the queue. NHS figures have shown that millions of us are missing out. So what's the real reason? I've popped into my dentist to find out why. How long have you been in the industry and, and how has it sort of changed over that time? It has changed massively. I mean, I've been in the industry now for over 20 years. I started off as a dental nurse. What happened is the government bought, brought in new contracts for the dentists a long, long time ago. Now, because a lot of dentists didn't want to work to this new contract, a lot of NHS practices that we have before are not NHS no more, so they're private. So patients are sort of forced into paying private you know, private prices because they can't get to see an NHS dentist. NHS figures show that more than 2 million adults in England are unable to see a dentist. This includes an estimated 1.45 million who have tried and failed to get an NHS appointment in two years, with the rest on waiting lists or put off by costs. And it's not just cost that's a factor. Over 2 million of us assume that there isn't any care available, whilst the 1.45 million that I just mentioned are turned away due to no free slots. Over 700,000 say that treatments are too expensive, whilst the rest of us are on waiting lists. Sounds like then patients that are private are probably getting the better deal here, and people are obviously worried the NHS could be privatised. Do you think this is the beginning of a slow implementation of that? I really hope not. I really, really hope not. If there was j just some let up on all of this, you know, the, the red tape, the all the compliance work that we have to do, let dentists do dentistry. Whatever the reason, appointments are more in demand than ever, leaving many of us unsatisfied and unable to get treatment. Will Fox for North East Live in Shotley Bridge.